One of my favorite skateboarding games, Skate 3, and one of my favorite driving simulators, BeamNG, just had a child. Today, we're going to be checking out this insane modded map in BeamNG, which is literally the entire Skate 3 map, but in BeamNG. Right off the bat, I mean, if you've, <laughs> if you've played Skate 3, this looks exactly the same, except for the fact there's a car there. This is crazy. Oh my god, hold on, I want to drive around. Let's just uh, throw it in reverse here. There should be a parking lot back here, which actually works out nicely, being the fact I'm in a car. This is so weird, because <laughs> it feels like, it feels so right, because I'm driving on the road, but it feels so wrong, because I've only ever skated down these roads. Alright, I don't know how big this map is either. Based on all of the spawn locations, I think it's the entire university district. I just floor it and see what happens. Oh! We have the full motion sim as well, so I'm gonna get tossed around. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna say that's not good. While we do have a lot to cover in this video, I think it is... Oh, it's like tilting me forward. I feel like it's pretty much essential that we need to try to make it down the entire Super Ultra Mega Park one way or another. Oh man, I feel like our little drift car may not be the best for this journey. We need something, we need something burlier. Adventure. That's what we need. We're going on. My hand just got stuck on my e-brake. We're going on an adventure here. Alrighty, that first drop, it feels like I'm on a roller coaster. And then I've never really made it past this first quarter pipe. But I mean, I guess if we just go slow and crank it. There we go. <laughs> oh, oh, should I try to jump it? I'm trying to jump it. Okay, this may be a little bit harder than I thought, but I mean, I guess when this was made in 2010, they weren't exactly expecting cars to be driving it. Up and over. We know not to try to jump this. We're just going to make a nice little U- <laughs> Perfect. We have our first obstacle, our first gap, and I have no idea how this is going to work. We're just going to go. We're just gonna... No! God! Okay, it's doable. I know that I can make it past this one. Maybe. Maybe not. There we go. But then what on earth are we supposed to do here? There's no way we're clearing this. Absolutely no way we can possibly clear that. No. I'm trying to figure out our options here. Because we need to somehow get enough speed to clear this if we back it up put it in gear yes i'm i'm taking it i'm taking it we made it through the gap now we go over <laughs> look at the sim right now whoa oh. oh okay we made it down i think we made it we made it past the hard part now it's just a straight shot to the bottom we can have a little bit of fun on the way though mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep Perfect. And then we're going to have to launch this last gap. So we make it over the whoop de doo And now just floor it. That actually worked so much better than I thought. Mm hmm. That's a success. I don't care how it ended. We may be missing a, a wheel. We made it to the bottom. That's a success. So you can see what I mean. We have the Super Ultra Mega Park. We have the Observatory, the Carvatron, Campus X. I can't come on about. Campus X. Why can't I say that? Campus entrance, the default, which looks like the shark gap, the Harley Stadium, which is also the shark gap, clock tower, and then the Chan Center. No way. I wonder if we can just like do some donuts around this thing. Oh, <laughs> look at us go. Hold on. I, th I think we can do the, the whole circle. There we go. Get into that angle. Oh, I could do this forever. This is such a trip. Oh my god. 
That is so sick feeling. It really is the perfect map to pour into BeamNG because yeah, it's a sw Ooh. it's a skate three map, but because it's the whole city, there's actually roads. Like it's it's a perfect driving map as well. You just get to reminisce on skate three as well. Let's try out some drifting here. Maybe I guess we'll dump it in third. Yeah. <laughs> Stay on the line there, buddy. Don't get carried away. E-brake. Oh, I should not have e-braked it there. It's funny because this is my my first time playing the map. Ooh. But I feel like I know the map because it's, it, because it's Skate 3. You know what I mean? Normally, I have to explore first, but I just know what's coming ahead. Dude, I'm getting pretty good at this whole drifting thing in this game. Never mind. I take that back. That's fine. Being a, a lover of Skate 3, we have an obligation. No matter what the game is, we have to skate, or I guess we're not skating. We have to clear the shark gap. The only problem is we can't just walk up the stairs now, so we're gonna need some sort of a uh, crawler mobile to get up the stairs. I was thinking like a Jeep. Cause yeah, normally, <laughs> normally you would walk up these, but uh, this works in this case. Then we'll just switch cars at the top if we need to. This is so sick to me. I wonder if this is as sick to you guys as it is to me, because this is uh, insanely blowing my mind right now. I have no idea the speed that we need. Let's go in first person here. Oh God, I can't even see over the, the hood. Here we go. Oh God. Oh, nope, that's not good. That is not good. We came in too hot here. We almost flipped. So I got to like ease our way down. That's looking good. Oh, damn it. Okay, it's coming. Nice and slow. Slow and steady. And then floor it. Dude, I got I to go off straight or else I flip. And that's not good. We don't want to flip. Come on. There we go. No, that was just, that was bad. I really got pretty close right off the bat. And now, oh, that's it. That's it. That's not it. I went way too fast. I, okay. Now I know we can get too much speed. There it is. There it is. Come on. Land on all fours. That's it. Success. <laughs> we cleared the shark gap and we drove away to tell the story. This thing's kind of sick because you can really just send anything. And for the most part, you sh should be okay. For the most part. This is a cool little area to practice our drifting. You know what I mean? You can just toss them around the... Uh... <laughs> toss them around the poles there. That was sketch. A lot of people were giving me a hard time for having the, the realistic motion sim but then using third person. I just think it's more like visually appealing, but I mean, it's a hell of a lot more realistic in first person. It is just hard. Ooh, trying to thread the needle between all these. Ooh -hoo -hoo! Oh my God. I don't know what this is, but it just looks like a good time. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Yeah, man, it's right hand drive too. This thing's sick. I wonder if I have enough clearance to make it Oh, I do have enough clearance to make it upstairs. Oh yeah, this thing's perfect. It's nice and small and maneuverable. You know what I mean? We can get to those uh, those hard to reach places up here in the, uh, the Skate 3 map. So it really is like, <laughs> it's just the whole Skate 3 map. Like it all connects like it would. Here's the bottom of the Super Ultra Mega Park and try to get a quick, <laughs> try to get a quick session on this thing. Whoa, cause I want to be able to like carve. Oh. Yep. Do the spine. Clear the spine. No. I did a rock to fakey though. This has got to be one of the coolest things, dude. It's like so stupid, but in such a beautiful way. Oops. <laughs> Come on, little buddy. You're still good. No. Oh, it died on me. There we go. I think I just went at it a little bit too fast last time. Nice and slow. No. No. Oh, okay, there we go. One of the things I love doing in Skate 3 when I play this game is when I'm in this little shark gap area, we skate those blue handrails, like the, the big blue one that I'm looking at right now. So it's only fair. We at least got to try it. Do the world's first car board slide. Take two. 
I think I'm gonna have to go much faster, aren't I? Maximum speed. More speed. More power. Ow! I just want to tap the rail. That, that's all I want to do. That's all we can do. There it is. Little, little nose grind action there. That was good. I have a genius idea for a BeamNG mod, okay? You have the Skate 3 map, just like we do now, but you add NPCs. How do you do that? I have absolutely no idea, but you got some people skating around, right? Just like you would in Skate 3. The player drives around in this beautiful ambulance we have here. We can even open up the back. Uh, that's where the patients go, obviously. You got to drive around responding to skate-related injuries. You know what I mean? You know, we would just be uh, patrolling around the campus here. And then all of a sudden you get a call. It's like, oh, we have a, a sprained ankle. So you just floor it. You got to go to the scene of the accident. You got to take the shortest route by all means. One way or another, you're making it. Why am I on fire? That's fine. We have more important things to worry about. So you get down to the skater, right? He's, he's right down here. He's at this He's at this house. That's where, that's where he called from. As long as we don't blow up before that happens. You pull up, right? The scene of the accident. I don't think it liked that. You pull up, you see him, you, you, you gotta see the scene, you know what I mean? You'd have some animation of like some dude laying on the ground writhing in pain. You pull up, you open the uh, you open the doors, he gets in, boom, close the doors, and just like that, you get a paycheck. Tell me that's not the best idea you've ever heard. Just uh, cruising through this nice uh, suburban neighborhood, waiting for one of these young rebellious kids to hurt themselves. These kids and their skateboards, you know, you can't trust them. So that means that uh, that little, uh, what's it called? Why am I spacing on it? The little red skate park. That should be down here then, if it's accurate, geographically accurate. I see it. The Carvatron. That's what it is. I mean, yeah, we can just, we, we would just park here and wait for an accident. This whole park is just a, uh, an accident waiting to happen. Maybe, maybe we leave this car here and then we go get, uh, we get a drift car, right? This thing sounds insane. Yep, that's good. See, you guys see a, you guys see a track. I see a perfect drift course. I'm gonna drift the entire track. Yep. Why is this actually working surprisingly well? Whole thing, hold it, e-brake. <laughs> oh my God, this is sick. Dude, this thing sounds good. I think I downloaded like a 2J mod for this car or something, which is why it sounds so crazy. I could honestly just be easily entertained driving around the streets, not doing any jumps, not doing any drifts, just cruising around in this car. Like I could probably do this for 45 minutes before I start getting bored. That's <laughs> that's how crazy this mod is to me. We're drifting all the way up. Oh, dump into fourth. Oh, we lost it. Reverse entry. I was trying that. So yeah, I mean, realistically, I could I could do this forever. Um, at a certain point, <laughs> it's gonna get boring for you guys to watch. Uh, so I might as well call it. This is an absolutely amazing mod that I think as I explore it more and download some more modded cars and stuff like that, there's a lot of content here and endless hours of fun. On that note, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. Every single thumbs up helps, obviously. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, happy early Christmas if you celebrate that. Um, I don't know. That was a weird thing to say at the end of this video, wasn't it? Okay, bye. See you next time.